Tonight with the community rallying behind a popular restaurant and tavern this weekend, several weeks after a devastating fire. A fundraiser just wrapped up about an hour ago tonight for Gin's Tavern near Factoryville. 2822's Gianna Gali joins us live in studio with more about this boost toward the business reopening. Gianna. Mark, good evening. It's been a little more than a month since the family-owned restaurant was reduced to rubble. Today, a benefit planned by the community provided much hope for a successful turnaround. It's not unusual for Fleetville Volunteer Fire Company to host fundraisers, but none rarely as big as this. The massive outpouring is to benefit Gin's Tavern. We are used to being on like the giving end of things, you know, and being on the receiving end is overwhelming. And of course we knew it was going to be a big turnout, but this, like, we had no idea and we are elated and overjoyed and so grateful for everything our community has done for us. Last month, flames ripped through the popular bar and restaurant that's been in her family since the 1950s. When Shilkovsky rushed down to the burning business, she quickly realized there was no saving what many consider a community staple. Surrounding communities sprang to action, planning this fundraising event to help the family and restaurant start all over again. Firefighter Joe Thomas helped put out the restaurant fire that devastating day. No matter what it is, I mean, there's always somebody out there willing to help somebody else. Thousands of people enjoyed food, especially one of the restaurant's most popular dishes, Tex-Mex soup. Nineteen bands in all performed. 130, anybody 130, you got 120 now. There was even a live auction and raffle baskets too. And even with this place packed with over a thousand people around me and so much to do, everyone here has one goal in mind. To see Jin's Tavern back in business. Out of out of the darkness comes light. And you know, I've said this before and I'll say it again, like, you know, if you can't find a good person, just go out and be one. And from the looks of things, it doesn't you don't have to look very far to see a bunch of good people um, for the same reason. Despite the large turnout and endless help from the community, the restaurant has a long way to go before it is back up and running. Mark. But one very big step forward. Gianna, thank you.